Hey everyone, Shabby here and welcome back to another concept here on WE 2K19 for the channel. Now this one, I'm not quite sure what to call it. I, I was going to call it the... Um, I was going to call it the uh, the Queen of King Wrestling. The Queen of King Wrestling? The Queen of Pro Wrestling, but looking at it, we could potentially utilise this Mae Young Classic arena and um, call it the Mae Young Classic, I suppose. But again, that's something you guys can let me know in the comment section down below what you prefer to see it called. But this will be a premier women's tournament. This will not just involve the women from NXT and the independent ladies who come in to help out. This will include every single woman on the game, um, plus whatever great cores we can get as well. Now, I've already got a great core for Rhea Ripley and Zelina Vega, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of fantastic cores available as we go forward to the future. I've got a really good Tony Storm as well, so we could really make a fantastic women's tournament out of this. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really feel like this is something that was sort of neglected quite a bit in last year's game for me. I think... Um, we didn't really showcase the women's roster too well. And since this game has really developed the women's roster and give us such a bigger women's roster, I think it'd be really cool to really utilize it to its best. And I think that's what we could do here, utilizing some of the best women on the game. So, like I said, we've got Shayna Baszler. We've got Kyra Sane in the ring, the finalist of the first of a Mayhem Classic. We could use people where everyone on the game would be involved, from Alundra Blaze, Trish Stratus, Lita all those sort of ladies, as well as all the current ladies and the potential future ladies as well. And like I said, whatever cores we can get a hold of, I'm sure we can get some really good female cores. We always get the odd one or two. They're not quite as good as a lot of the male cores, but I mean, that Rhea Ripley we've got is fantastic. That'll be showcasing it in our NXT universe mode pretty soon. Tony Storm as well is fantastic, and as Lena Vega is very, very good as well. So I'm sure over time we can probably get some more of the ladies that were actually in the uh, Mae Young Classic, people like Mercedes Martinez as well. Uh, which I quite like Mercedes Martinez, actually, to be honest with you. And, of course, when the DLC comes out, we'll have Candice LeRae and uh, ladies like that as well, which would be fantastic to have as well. I'm sure there'll be people like Alaya and um, a few people like that we can get a hold of. I'm sure there'll be a very, very strong roster. It might be very much to do with who we can get a hold of rather than who we want, really, in this tournament. But I'm pretty sure we can still make a fantastic show. I think there's over 40 women on the game anyway. So that's going to be a massive sort of start. And I think if we add another 20 odd in there and get it up to 64 that's a pretty big knockout tournament we can use over a, a period of a, a couple of weeks really to really showcase the best and i think what we could do a little bit of a spoiler here for one of the future concept videos is we are going to actually have a potentially all female show at some point and potentially the winner of this entire tournament could be crowned the first ever champion of that show and i think we'll probably have that roster reveal in the next couple of days as well to sort of link up with this. So that would be a really good idea, actually. It, it gives the tournament some sort of worth, and uh, it gives it a point, and I think that would be quite nice because a lot of the tournaments we're doing, we're, we're doing a tournament, we're crowning the best of the best, but we're not really giving out a, a great reward. But I think if we do have a 64 women, champion, uh, 64 women tournament and the winner becomes the first champion of that brand, I think that would be fantastic, actually. That would really give the tournament some sort of use and I think that might be something we could do is maybe link a lot of these tournaments up to a certain brand for example we looked at the King of the Cruiserweights tournament yesterday and uh, potentially we could have a Cruiserweight only uh, roster and the winner of that King of the Cruiserweights tournament could become the first ever champion of that brand I quite like that idea actually maybe linking a few of these tournaments up with the brands so there we go that's uh, that's the concept for this one it's an all women's tournament uh, either the Queen of Pro Wrestling or what on earth is this? We're actually getting a... Um... We're getting somebody interfering, are we? Or is that just... It's just music. There's no one actually there, is there? That's weird. I've not seen that before on this year's... Oh, hello. And Mandy Rose. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Although the referee did just see the whole thing, so it's a bit iffy, isn't it, really? And the pin by Shane. That's, that's a nice little thing. Sorry, I've not seen that yet in this year's game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I got distracted. Yeah, we use either the Queen of King, uh, the Queen of King, the Queen of Pro Wrestling, or the Mae Young Classic, whatever you guys think sounds best. Uh, maybe the Mae Young Classic might be best because it'll get me more views because people have heard of it. Maybe that makes more sense. Um, and again, if there's anyone you think should be in this tournament, please do drop them down in the comment section down below. Like I said, it might be very much core dependent who we can get a hold of, but of course we've got all the ladies on the game will be involved, um, plus the best cores we can get a hold of. I want to try and get it to like a 64 women tournament to to really showcase the best of the best. Anyway, I've been ch another one. <laughs> what's what's going on? This is like a this is like an old-fashioned '80s match or oh, old-fashioned uh, attitude era match. This one, just everyone's just interfering and distracting each other. Either way, I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very very soon for another concept here on WWE 2K19. Bye.
Blame Hashem, the ones who do.